your boy Spray Paint back at you with another video, man. Y'all know what it is when y'all step in the bed. Smash that like button, hit the notification bell. We in these YouTube streets with it, man. So let's talk about it. Hassan Campbell speaks down on Beanie Siegel food truck. You feel me? If you don't know, the OG just announced that he got a food truck called Grab and Rolls. You know, his own food truck where he posted up in South Philly doing this thing. Now, Hassan Campbell feeling some type of way, and he basically saying that, you know, Beanie Seeker don't have a five-star restaurant. He don't got no wing stops. He don't got no checkers. Basically comparing him to certain rappers like Rick Ross and others that got restaurants. You know what I mean? Not to mention even Trick Daddy got a restaurant. But let's talk about it. Now, we already know OG don't own his music. You feel me? He don't own his masters. But at the same time, he found another way how to get bread, how to get his money. And we can't down talk the food trucks. You feel me? And I'm going to tell you why. I thought when I came to Houston that I had to go to an actual taco restaurant to get some good tacos, to get some good burritos. No, bro. They got taco stands on every corner like the police. And believe me, they make good money. You feel me? Not to mention, it was a guy said that they made 15K when, when they went down to Shreveport and set up their food truck when 50 Cent did the, the Harmer and Humor uh, Festival. You feel me? So we can't down talk the food trucks like they don't be getting paid. You feel me? Now, I seen one comment with somebody from Philly said, and they said that being the seagull, he be talking and spitting all over the food. When he handling the food, he still be talking. You feel me? Now, everything that I'm saying is alleged entertainment purposes, but at the same time, I'm pretty sure it's going to be all kind of people from all over the world. When they come down to Philly, they going to go support the OG. You feel me? Because let's just be real. He put the he put the R in ROC. You feel me? He was front line. Anytime Jay-Z had any smoke with Dipset or anybody, he was the first one to handle handle the candle. He was the first one to speak out. And not to mention, he said he would have caught a bullet behind Rockefeller. Cause that's just how big, that's just how big of a gangster he was. Been to penitentiary a couple times. Had to bump his head, and in the process of it, let's not forget, Jay Z had a chance to free Benny Seagull, and he didn't do it. So, Benny had to learn the hard way, and he forgave Jay Z for that. But now, OG making a anybody that's doing something positive, providing for their family the legit way, and not asking nobody for for a coin, I can't do them but salute them. I could never down talk a man by how he providing for his family. And who's to say in a couple of years, being a seeker, if he if he if his business be successful, who's to say he he might not he might end up in his own restaurant. You feel me? So on another note, I need y'all to get in the comments and let me know how y'all feel. Tell me how y'all feel about Hassan Campbell speaking on being a seeker. In, in his new food truck, grabbing rolls, man. Lash out the door and it's on the floor. I'm gone.